Hello, Bumta Sedu. Welcome back to the chat with Dolphin. Have you subscribed? If you haven't, uh, please do subscribe. But if you did, of course, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for subscribing. Man, I say I love you. So, anyways, let's get let's just get into it because today we are going to have a different conversation, Man, Dase, because Zia Kala goes and go mean Zia Kala Wahala. So, yesterday on TikTok, I just saw a trailer, you know, trading on TikTok where by old cd from generation or latoya mckinney was gonna be featured on a gobel i mean fake gobela and i was like this is the show that i'm not gonna miss i know i'm not be, i'm not a biggest fan of tv but i'm not gonna miss this show and when i tell you i waited just to see old cd getting exposed on national tv for being a fake sangoma or a fake gobela only to find out good to know man there's something going on that I don't understand. I always preach when it comes to Izangoma. Obviously, you know where I stand when it comes to Izangoma. Fake prophets, has fake uh, pastors and whatsoever, guys. But we have to be honest sometimes. This is a commentary channel. Obviously, sometimes I'm going to be biased and whatsoever. But on this video, I'm not biased, guys. I'm just going to call a spade a spade. I made some notes over here so that at least I can summarize what happened. So the guy called, I forgot the guy, please don't, uh, don't murder me. Don't bully me, please. I forgot the guy, I forgot to, to write the guy's name, but I'm, I will just refer him as the guy, right? So if a Gobela presenter comes and interviews this guy who calls them to, you know, to expose Ola Toya Makene, I need him. So while he was just making his statement, while he was just telling his story, honestly, by just narrating the story, you could tell that the guy was lying. I'm not going to lie. The guy was lying. The guy was bought. The guy was bribed. Because there's no way. If you call... If you want to expose a fake gobella or a fake sangoma, you must have a reasonable reason. You understand? You have to have facts. But the guy didn't even have facts, honestly. Because one thing that I can attest to, Kore, okay, fine. She, I mean, he paid 3500 And Ola Toya McKenna mentioned that he, I mean, she usually uh, charges 10000 for you to get initiated, for you to get inside her impanda. Only to find out to go to the guy who only paid 3.5 and now he wants the 3.5 back. For what? And another thing, he didn't mention anything about hey hey and Suzanne, hey hey what what. It turns out Utsidi was actually in a process of helping the guy, but unfortunately the guy left it was Sony before time. Apparently he stayed there for only two weeks. And maybe I can guess or maybe the reason why he decided to leave was because he was missing his girlfriend or he was missing his wife because there's no way for you or um or live in panda without even having a reasonable reason uh, do i make sense anyways guys according to me uh, the guy didn't make sense uh, according to me the guy didn't make sense didn't make sense obviously he mentioned that he worked as a part-time she i mean he didn't uh have money he met utcd at the mall when he approached utcd he's the one who approached a sangoma he's the one who approached a sangoma and my guys my bet is that the reason why he approached Ola Toya was because he saw a chance of a celebrity and he hugged a celebrity and he asked for an autograph and he, you know, that's when he, they spoke about him getting initiated, him, Ashola, consultation and whatsoever. But from what I gathered from that interview, that interview was just a bull. That interview was just fucked up, according to me. That interview was just a uh, fucked up. That interview proved Uguti indeed Olatoya was not lying when she was accusing her, I mean, her ex husband of, you know, abusing him. I mean, abusing her. I, get it. I don't know how to pronounce this. You understand? Olatoya made claims long time ago about her husband abusing her, her husband mooring her to the filth she came forward she exposed the husband and we chose to take the the side of the husband because you know she is the public figure and uh, on this show it was proven that ended 
Tidi was right all the time I was right when she said that her husband was mooring her to the field. It doesn't matter, guys, that she slept with multiple of men. It doesn't matter that she cheated on her husband. And that's what everyone do on their own private times. Who are we to judge? Okay, fine. If it was another scenario, guys, I was going to, you know, judge Uzi. I was going to judge Ulatea Maikene. But unfortunately, on this show, I can't judge this woman. Because it's clear, this one doesn't even need interrogation. This one doesn't even need macho alama bedi or the classes. No, this one is just clear and simple. This guy was bought to, you know, uh, to ruin Tidi's image, to ruin Latoya's image. I'm not even going to talk about many things here. I'm just going to talk about this video because this video itself is just fucked up. I was so disappointed I'm, and I'm still disappointed. I'm still disappointed in level. I'm still disappointed. I mean, this is the same when a woman that you were married to, the same woman that you were sharing a bed with. And you come to the social media, expose her family secret, expose, you know, her image, knowing for a mere fact that there are certain people who look up to this woman. There are certain individuals who see this woman as their own role model. But you still went ahead by ruining her reputation. What will it take for you to stop? Because it needs to stop. If indeed it's true, because also didn't even mention on tele on television that you no, know, this guy was bribed by Oleb. This guy was definitely bribed by Oleb, and I don't know when she will stop. When will you stop? Because you need to stop. You need to stop him, Gale, because there's no way. There's no way you are too toxic. You are too toxic. Anyways, guys, like I said, um, I stand to be corrected. And for everyone who got a chance to watch um, Fake Gobella that is every Sunday around 8 o'clock p.m. on Mojolove TV, if you got a chance to watch this, you know, episode, you have the right to challenge me, you have the right, you know, yeah, to comment down below and challenge me because I stand to be corrected. But that's how I understood the you know the the, the 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 episode man I, I just feel like the guy was bored i just feel like the guy was bright because none of the things that he mentioned on the show you know uh, made sense to me like they didn't make sense to me and that's why i stand firm with what i say he was bored because you you can't tell me that she is a fake cobella just because you paid her 3.5 no that's bull like you better expect to look what he just I like you better expect to look what it's just so now <laughs> guys you better expect to look what it's just that's the reason why i even said the reminder because i wanted to find something to, to talk about but unfortunately i didn't get anything out of this guy didn't get anything out of this episode you know why because it shows the guy was bored it proves the guy was bored Anyways, guys, yeah, man, that's it for me. The chat with Dolphin. Have a lovely day. I love you. And comment down below and tell me what you think. But I say.